Our next piece we're gonna discuss is Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. Hey, hey it. It. So for today's video, I decided to just talk about some of the different creative projects that I've been working on the past few weeks. I'm not an expert in any of these, but I think creativity is really good for mental health and just for me personally. And I also really hope to have a career someday in something that involves any type of creative endeavor. So with that being said, if you would like to see what I've been working on, then just keep watching. Okay, so for video editing, I wasn't really working on anything at the moment, but there was a project that I did a couple weeks ago that was a mini promo video for a club that I started at my school. Um, it's just a short little 30 minute video, just kind of like introducing what the club is about. And the video was already finished, but I just needed to adjust the volume a little bit because it was too quiet and then upload it to the website for my school. It's just a club for black creatives and it's something that I shot. It took a few weeks just like spread out like different parts of the video um, were just done at different times like the drawing was one thing and I also did the animations and all that. It was a really fun project that I did. Um, so yeah I just did that and so yeah so I did for editing and yeah if you i will put a link down below if you want to watch the video um it's on youtube it's on the because i made a youtube channel for the club so if you want to watch the video go ahead and click that So for digital art, I decided to take it to my iPad. I just kind of took a photo that, this is like a continued thing that I was already working on, but uh, I did a photo shoot with one of her friends and we just kind of went to the park and put a white sheet because I kind of wanted pictures for like maybe a website or something, but it was mostly just kind of for fun. And so with the picture, I wanted to kind of experiment with like animation and like doodles and trying to mix that with like photography or like photographs, I guess. And so I basically just like did a bunch of like little doodles all around the picture. And so far I had the little paper airplane flying and it's supposed to eventually go all the way around me, but I just had it as like a GIF just going back and forth, back and forth. Eventually I really want to add maybe some color to it and also make some of the other elements move. But right now I just have the paper airplane moving and I kind of liked how it turned out. So. You know, I might add a little more to the future, see where it goes, or maybe like do something similar with like another picture or something, but yeah. So for drawing, there were two different drawings I was working on. The first one was this ASAP Rocky drawing, which I was just doing with graphite, um, and it's on an 18 by 24 piece of paper and I tried to like add some angled grids to the background and I also planned on making it look kind of like a statue head that's why the eyes are kind of like that but now I'm considering just darkening everything and just making it look normal and keeping the eyes like that because I think it looks cool but yeah this is mostly just for practice anyways and in this clip you can just kind of see me like working on the hair a little bit because the braids and everything they're not fully filled in so I just spent this day in particular just kind of like filling it in a little bit more but as you can see you might not be able to tell but from my angle there's some spots that aren't fully shaded as dark as they need to be so that's something I definitely plan on doing in the future and then also from our practice the other drawing I was working on is in my smaller sketchbook and it's Willow Smith and also like the ASAP Rocky one I was mostly spending time on my hair and also kind of darkening some spots because on that one like I definitely like the shading wasn't as deep as I wanted it to be so I just spent the day kind of darkening some elements of the face or not the whole day but just like when I was working on it and then also the hair too because the dreads are cool and I was having fun with that 
Her proportions were a little bit off, but I mean, I'm still getting better with faces, so I was kind of happy with how it turned out because I usually don't get them that accurate. I usually make the eyes a little bigger or not on accident, like on purpose, but this time I was like, I'm really going to try to make it look just like her. And I started with the eyes and that really helps me a lot. So if you need a tip on how to maybe draw faces better, because drawing that whole like cross thing in the circle that does not work for me i need to start with something like i can't i need to start with one face part so i know what to do but yeah and then i spent time on the hair and it was cool i think the textures turned out nice I feel like it needs to be a little darker but i think it looks cool and then i also plan on adding like a white pencil to the highlights and everything because i've seen other drawings like that and i just think it would look cool especially since the pages of my sketchbook are gray I just feel like it would make the drawing pop a little bit more, so yeah, and also, I forgot to mention this before, I have an art account on Instagram, so if you want to follow it and see, because if I finish it and I'm proud of it, I'm probably going to post it there, so, and like all the art projects, like the visual art projects, I definitely am going to post on there, so if you want to follow it, go ahead. So yeah, now I'm going to go to painting. And then for painting, I showed pretty much the first painting I've ever completed for real. And it was for a project in school. And it, this picture definitely need, or this painting definitely needs more to the background too. But this is what it looks like when I finished it as a project. So that's kind of how that looks. Another painting I was working on is this 12 by 12 painting of Steve Lacey. I tried to make it kind of textured, but I might end up going back and making it more smooth. But I just added a little bit more to, I guess, like just different parts of the face. And I had to try to fix the hairline too because it was messed up even worse. And yeah, that's kind of what I worked on. This one's also definitely for practice because, you know, with painting faces. Because it's a small canvas and I feel like that's really nice to practice on. And yeah, and then finally there was another painting that I started on. Um, I didn't actually start putting the paint on the canvas yet. It's going to be acrylic too, but I just drew out the face of SZA because I think she looks really pretty here. And I think it's a nice reference tool to practice because I just think it's a nice picture to paint. Um... And yeah, also just a little message from future me, I ended up completely covering this with red and going over it with a different sketch. So now it's going to be Tyler the Creator with oil paint. Um, at the time I really thought it was going to be Sizzle, but I ended up changing it. So yeah, this is me in the future saying that this painting is not going to happen, or that painting is not going to happen. But it's going to be Tyler the Creator with oil paint, and I've never used oil paint either, so hopefully it turns out good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. Um, also, by the way, I'm recording this part on a different day. That's why I sound literally different because the other one just sounded not good. So I wanted to redo it. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.